And again, it's... But this is laid out like a keyboard. Right. Okay, so those are the white notes. Yeah, like the white notes there. Right. And the black notes are there. So, uh, I mean, I have got, there are other notes, but I've decided in this case to just have it laid out like a keyboard because um, musicians are more familiar with keyboards than right. otherwise, you know, right. so that was the... That was the idea, but anyway, in each um, in, at that end is the buzzer, which is like a kazoo, so it's actually um uh, it's a bottle top <laughs> oh right, yes, yeah, yes, and um. So the, 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 well, that's that's the bottle bit, and this is the top, and I've made a hole in it, right? And between it, I've put a bit of um, this. It's actually what's really good is uh, the things that come in uh, when you buy loose tea. <laughs> you get it in this sort of silvery, metallic, yes. plastic stuff, and that's yeah. that turned out to be, you know, the best. So, once again, you can see there's, it's just a, a wider tongue than the other ones. Right. But it's the same system. There's the clamping it down and um, tapping it forwards or backwards will raise or lower the note. So, um, um, yeah, so, I mean, I had to design the whole thing, really. And <clears throat> the other thing is that um, the... The tube has to have the same pitch as the tongue. So, um, and which is like, can you, if you can picture, um, you know, xylophones and marimbas, you right. know, they've got all these tubes yes. below. Yeah. And the tubes are the resonators and, the, and each tube is, uh, has the same pitch as the as the note above it right so that way it, it, it immediately amplifies it and then by putting a buzzer on the end that actually triggers that note a bit more so that was putting the buzzers in was just something i fancied doing really so um uh yeah i had to go for to somerset for the bamboo to um the people who make um willow there's a guy there, <coughs> Willow, uh, you know, they sell this Willow um, for making baskets. But the guy is actually, these all, all this bamboo comes from China. It's the best you can get, really. So um, uh, I had to, that was the first stage I had to do that. And then all sorts of, you, you just have to design every single bit of it, really, you know. Um, and then the stand, and it's got to sit on a soft surface so that um you know they they're not um they're not rattling against anything else you know so there's the that's the ordinary key yes So, I mean, I, I haven't really played this much. So, in a way, this is as much for anybody else to explore it as me, really. I mean, uh, so it was just, in a way, the difference between the Sands Accord and this is that 
with the Sansa cord I'm using a box as um, a resonator for all the notes whereas in this case I'm using each note has its own resonator so that's that's the difference this is more related in a sense to xylophones in that way but um, as opposed to having um, notes which float over the top on uh, on two nodal positions in this case it's it's a tongue which is gripped at one end so that's the difference really yeah so that's um, the bazoo and again people can play it oh yeah if they, if they I mean, come what, along to yeah yeah tank. so what, I, what i'm imagining is that this will be and and the signs are called to be next to it right so in a way what I'm kind of imagining is someone could be playing the uh, sans accord and someone else could be finding a way in which to play accompany it with this as the sort of solo instrument, you know. So, um, it, it you know, I hope it'll be a sort of participatory kind of experience, you know.